Mikey, innkeeper of the Hotel Big Box. And we're going to take a look at one of the more mainstream companies of the Big Box era as we spotlight the one at home video release of the Ritz. Judging from this box cover, I can only imagine it's one of those uh, Ralph Bakshi student films. I say we're in for a nice little treat here. But first, we're going to go back to the early days of Warner Home Entertainment. How early, you may ask? Early enough to where the Warner logo was still the two and a half slanted Twinkies. Starting out as WCI Home Video, the company painted over its doors with the renamed Warner Home Video logo in 1980. And the rest is history. Actually, wait, there's, uh, there's a little more. Sorry, I, I get distracted. Warner Home Video was one of the rare companies that experimented with a rental-only line of videos, a majority of which would come in these beautiful clamshell cases, such as the first edition VHS of Excalibur and Superman 2. The rental-only line was perfect for those of us who, uh, you know, like to use movies for a night or two, but uh, can't, can't really commit to anything. Warner Home Video was also one of the major companies to deal in time compression. This was a perfect way to save money on the short tape VHSs. A notable example of this was the notorious cut of the original Superman, which ran 127 minutes instead of its normal 143 minute release, making VHSs Superman's second weakness next to Kryptonite. Who wants to see a man fly through the sky for two and a half hours anyway? I, I got things to do. Show me Marlon Brando in that earthquake and let me get on with my day. Warner Home Video gets Vic's big box clearance sale of approval for sticking with the term home video even in this age of DVD, Blu-ray, gun, laser pointer discs. While other companies went from tits on the big box to mainstream fare, Warner Home Video recognizes its roots. And with this classic release of Richard Lester's The Ritz, once again we're reminded that class comes in a giant protective box. As you can see, The Ritz, not animated. That, that was a little joke, you know, because cause I'm funny. I'm a funny guy. In the Ritz, we get Big Jack Weston playing Gaetano Proclo, a man married into the mob who goes on the run from his uh, connection-filled brother-in-law, who wants to make Proclo, you know, go on vacation, so to speak. Proclo hides out in a male bathhouses, which were a one-time New York staple, a place for guys' guys, where men could be free to be men. You could shoot pool, hang out in the steam room, exercise, and, uh, pop balloons? Uh, yeah, sure, who, who doesn't like popping balloons? At the Ritz, you get to meet all kinds of colorful characters, including this gorgeous lounge singer with the voice of an angel. is as rich as the red sauce in my mother's gabagool. No need to take the clamshell out of the cardboard box with the Ritz. You can just open that bad boy right up. That's, uh, that, that's your cue there, dollface. Look at the inside of that clamshell. Is that class or is that class? I'm going to go with class. Pure class. The logo imprinted right on the inside of the box. You don't get treatment like that nowadays. If the big box is a spa, then the clamshell logo imprint is the foot massage. This box design was very common with the early to mid-80s Warner Home Video releases. These big clamshells were all over the place at your local video stores, usually consisting of a small picture and the same style of border around the picture on each box. So pick up a copy of Doritz. Trust me, you're going to love the taste of this clamshell. Music 